my vlog hello hi how's everyone hope everyone is having a good week i wasn't gonna vlog this week i was gonna do like i don't know i had a video in mind um to do this week that wasn't a vlog but i need to moan um i need to run and um this is the place that i'm gonna do it currently having a cheeky little fish and chip lunch don't have any malt vinegar so i'm using some cider vinegar but all the same right smells like vinegar just stronger which is pep time anyways i hope everyone's had a good week it is currently the 2nd of february it's wednesday it's my normal filming day my brain literally just went blank there. That's this is how I feel. I've got an absolute stinking headache. I think it's a little bit more migrainey. Um, this week just hasn't gone to plan. I think someone's trying to sabotage me. That's what I've come to the conclusion. There, it's got to be some sort of saboteur out here. And I don't know why they're out to get me. That's how I feel. But that's I'm cheering myself up. And the way to cheer myself up is food and makeup. I did go to Superdrug earlier. Um, and they've got the dubious place. I didn't think my local one would have it there. So I wasn't prepared. And I haven't chosen the items that I wanted. But there were a lot of things that I could have just picked up and brought. Um, but I decided to just come away and not buy anything. Um, I'll do it. I think I'm going to do like a full face of Juvia's Place. Oh! Mm. So I'm very much, very much looking forward to trying out their makeup. I've wanted to try them out forever. Their bronzer looks mwah, beautiful. But I don't know if I want the dark bronzer or if I want the tan bronzer because i like one of the shades in the tan which kind of reminds me of coco naughty from fenty and then there's one of the shades that's in the dark set that reminds me of mocha mammy and both of those shades i like so i could i would like both of those shades that's what i would like so i'm going to do some video surfing on youtube and just have a look at some reviews and like people testing it out and see which one I like the best and then I'll choose which one I want but yeah I was supposed to start my miracle morning challenge yesterday which I did I did but I didn't get everything up that I needed to get like I wanted my YouTube video up to be on Monday it didn't go up till yesterday I wanted my daily update to be on the days, like at the end of the day, but I wasn't prepared that TikTok doesn't like pictures. So I had to make it in a different app to upload it so that I can, basically what it was doing, because on my affirmation, I want to tell you what my affirmation is, but my affirmation isn't on a video. So I could have made a video, but I wasn't prepared because I didn't plan it like I wanted to plan it. Time has just got away from me. Like since the beginning of January, I've just been bam, 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 churning out content and churning out things that I was supposed to sit and just plan what these 30 days was going to look like and how I was going to be able to upload them to TikTok. And I've got so much on my plate. Like I've got my... Um, Okay, they all all of this just sounds like excuses, which is why I'm really annoyed with myself. All I needed to do was just check out TikTok because I don't really use it that much. So, yeah. I'm sorry. We're now having lunch together while I talk to myself. But it's fine. I worked it out. I have an app that was recommended called InShot. Into shop, something like that. Two chips are not good today. They are not good. They have been sat there for a while. See, I'm just not happy. My space isn't clean and clear. That's how I feel. This headache is not helping me. 
So I think that is also annoying me. But anyways, I made the video and I got it up today. Now I know what I need to do. I will just make it at the end of the day. Um, I just need to be very organised. But I, I've been getting up at 6.45. I changed my getting up time because over the last month in January I realized that um, it would take me about 15 minutes to get myself sorted and downstairs um, so I now I set up all the stuff that I need like my mat my weights my trainers but I, I put my gym gear out um, ready and I come down and then by six o'clock, I'm ready to work out because some of the workouts in my program are 45 minutes. Um, so I can't be coming down here at quarter past six and starting to work out. Um, so, yeah. So I'll get up at 6.45 now. Sorry. At 5.45, I get up. get Come down, work out. Today was a 30-minute cardio hit. I don't like cardio. And I said to myself that I wasn't going to do her cardio and I would just do like a Zumba or something because I really like Zumba. I should have just done Zumba up there, but I hate... <laughs> Listen, I don't hate anything in my life, but burpees, they are my arch nemesis. I hate them. Absolutely hate them. So, yeah. That's what's happening this week. I just feel like a lot of things are being sabot sabotaging my life. And it's my own fault. I need to clear my head and clean my space. I need to film today. There's this look that I wanted to recreate. For like the longest. I went and found the... Because I saved it on my Instagram. So I went into my save to see how long I've been waiting to do this. And I saved that from 2020. Can you imagine? So, it's a cute Valentine's look. So, I'm going to do that. Hopefully, I'll do that today. <laughs> God willing, I'll do that today. But, um, yeah, how are you guys? How's your life? February started. Is this everybody's reset because i know sometimes people say that january is like the trial month and february is when they're getting their ish together are you getting your ish together i hope so um i hope you're doing everything that you want to do and if you're not doing the things that you want to do don't worry there are literally 12 months sorry there are 11 months left in this year, in this whole entire year you got time baby you got time yeah it's all about being kind to yourself. Um, I've told you before that I listen to The Daily Pep and she is always big on being kind to yourself, like not beating yourself up, like take one day at a time, put one foot in front of the other. That's all you need to do. That is all I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Oh, I've got my nails done. So I don't, did I, I don't think I told you. So I decided that this year I want to try and grow my own nails. I don't need to try. My nails grow really, really well. I just like that. I like, to, I like my long nail. I like to, all of that. So this year I was like, come on, your nails are great. Like if you see my mum's nails, they're beautiful. Like and my nails are very similar, so they grow really strong. They grow really um long, but they're not very strong. <laughs> Bars, they're not very strong. They grow very long, but they're not very strong. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, so I decided this year stop getting acrylics because what I do is I get acrylics, I get acrylics, and then I fall off the wagon because I can't be bothered to go and get my nails done. But with this, I'm going to get it. So, I decided to get my nails done. So, I did some research. And there was a lot of things saying about, like, get gel builder. And that is basically, like, gel nails last just as long. And it just helps build and strengthen your nails. So, I asked my nail shop if they do it. And they don't do gel builder. They recommended SNS, SNS nails. Don't ask me what it stands for. I'm not looking it up. 
but that's what yeah, I got. So French polish is my classic look. I always like, what's my brand? What am I going to be? I want to be clean and sharp. Um, just, I just realised that's the, yeah, clean and sharp. That's how I want my look to be. Um, so I always said that it would just be French nails with different kinds of French or it'd be like a solid um, full colour. But I like French nails. And it's really funny, yeah, because obviously I've started at the beginning. I would like just cut my nails down and start at the beginning. Let's get them all level and let's just like go from there. And I these nails are literally the shortest I've ever had. I had nails that were just a little bit longer than these. I remember um, when we came out of the first lockdown in, back in 2020, the summer. And I got my nails cut down and I was like, ah, oh, the struggle and nails, like they're not giving me life. Um, and these are even shorter than that. Um, but I love them. It, obviously, I can just go about my day. I, I'm literally not even worried about them breaking or anything. And they feel like really strong and really thick. And I think my nails still just look, they look nice to get, nicely together, nicely put together. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm just going to keep getting SNS now. And with SNS, it's not like um, acrylic, so you can't get infills. You have to um, you have to get them taken off and put back on. I think that was my front door. Hold on. All right, that was my front door. That was the posty. Um, yeah. Um, where was that? Yeah, so nails. So yeah, you get them, take them back off and put them back on. Really nice and um, easy. I'm happy about that. So I'm just going to grow my nails this year, see how it goes. And hopefully by before summer, I think I should have my snatched. I should be able to shape them into a coffin shape, I think. Um, so I'm well looking forward to that. Or I might try a different shape. I might try like a pointed almond or like, is it pointed stiletto or pointed almond? One of the two. That's what I'll try. So yeah, that's what I've got done. I've got some empties I want to take you guys through. I want to do this monthly. I've like different products that I've used. Yeah, these chips are literally the worst chips I've had in my life. They're usually really good with their chips. At least my fish is fresh. That's what I can be happy about. Yeah. So, but day two of the Miracle Morning Challenge. I did it. I'm happy. I'm very happy. So, next thing that I need to do is I need to go and film this look. Um... I managed to catch up on all my work today, so I'm very happy about that. And my headache is like subsiding a little bit. So we're good. Another thing that I need to do is I need to purchase a vlogging camera. I have decided it is time. I need to I need to invest in myself and I need a laptop. I have a work laptop that I use, but I don't actually have a personal laptop. We have like a family laptop, but my husband uses it all the time. And he's like, you know, when it's just not fresh anymore, like he's used up all the storage and all of that. And I just want something that is all for my content creation, all in one place. Because obviously I use my phone, I use my iPad, my, my iPad, my work iPad, and I use all of that to create my content so it's now time for me to like invest in myself and if i want to actually make good content i need to have good stuff and i'm not saying that the phone isn't the great the best thing to use because use what you've got but i've been doing like youtube and stuff now like for four years but not properly not consistently like i think 2022 is going to be the most consistent that i have ever been on there i want to at least post one video a week i'm happy with that that's four vid videos a month and i just don't want to churn out content for the sake of churning out content i want to actually make valuable content so a few vlogs ago 
I uh, mentioned um, about um, a job that I would like to obviously get to eventually. And I'm looking at, I was looking at social media management. And in actual fact, that isn't what I want to do. I, a, a role came up um, and it was for a social content creator. And that's what I want to do. It, I think I've actually spoken about this because it sounds familiar as I'm saying it to you. Maybe I've said it, not said it to you, and I've said it somewhere else. But it's more so creating content, getting creative briefs, breaking it down. How can you, what can you create for this particular brief across all the social media platforms and stuff like that? And that's kind of more like what I want to do. Um, so th um, through work, um, the, the, the so through work, so they give us access to training. Um, so you can go onto this website, it's called Udemy, and um, you can basically do any of the courses that you want. There's no restrictions um, on it. Would they pay, work pays for my license? And I can um, do as many or as little hours as I want. So I found this course and it's basically beginners for social content creators. And it's like, it's tailored at beginners and it's tailored at like businesses and social media managers. But it's really taking it back to basics. And um, that's what I need. Um, so I started the course yesterday. I decided that I'm going to dedicate at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day just to go through this course. The course is 10 and a half hours long and I think that is manageable. That makes it like 11 days and I'd be finished. But I would give myself over the month, things happen and work gets busy and I don't always have that time to just be able to do like a solid like one hour in the course but I managed to start it yesterday and I did half an hour and I got up to the section where it was finding your purpose and this is something that every single course every single YouTube video everything that I have found about like trying to find your purpose in life um it basically goes down to this you need to find your why what is your reason for being? Why are you here? And it was basically saying that if you don't have a purpose, you just go for a long life. Like, blah, 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 blah. And I am very much in the part of my life where I need purpose. I need direction. I need to know what I do. And I kind of need to take that lead and try and like do it basically. Um, so she gave you, so basically the exercise that she gave us was um, to use sticky notes. I've actually got it right in front of me. Let me, let me get it. Um, I didn't have different colour sticky notes, so I just used um, one sticky note and I just cut up this bit of paper. And you basically have the four sections. So you have pink, and pink is the things the world needs. Yellow is the things I love. A green is the things I'm good at. And then blue is the things I can earn money from. And basically, you just go through all of these points. So it started with, actually, it started with yellow. Then it started with green. So yellow, things I love. Green, things I'm good at. Blue, things I can earn money from. Oh, crap. Not in my dinner. And then pink, things the world needs. And you take your sticky notes. She said, come up with at least, like, ten. Go through and, like, really think about it. Don't give yourself a disservice like things that people have even said that you're good at like take like some people can see things in you that you can't see in you so she was like take all of that um put it all together um and then when you look at the post-it notes you gather them together and you should have some overlays and basically the whole purpose of it is called the ikigai and it's your reason for being and you basically there's a whole like diaphragm diagram if i can find it i will insert it and basically you want to be in the middle where the icky guy is because you've got like your passion your ambition money to earn things the world needs all of that and basically in the middle of all of those things is your icky guy if you can find what your icky guy is you're gone clear and i i this is what i've been looking for i've been trying and basically that's why i just i was like i don't really know where i want to take my youtube i don't know where i want to take my content creation i just want to kind i want i want what I, I was thinking in my head is as long as i try and do it 
do start doing it like start content creating start making vlogs start making my makeup videos hopefully i will then start to realize the things that i love about this content curation um so that's what i've been trying to do and i nearly finished um this i just want to go over um um, that exercise but it's really helped me um so yeah that's where i'm at at the moment i'm gonna try and do this course i'm making it a priority um to get this done because i can't stay in the same place and think that this is it's just not it's not okay for me anymore um this is not where i want to be mm. So, yeah, my rant turned into a little bit of hopeful positivity for myself. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys, no doubt, sometime this week. Good evening. Sorry, this is just coming from work and took my hair down. I had this cute little outfit on. I didn't want to waste this cute makeup. So I thought I would quickly run through some of my January faves. Um, not faves, empties that I've got for January. Because um, I've been collecting these and they're just here on my dressing table collecting mess. So I thought I'd just go through some of the things that I've emptied in January. And I think I'm just going to do this every single month and show you guys like what i've been using so first of all my absolute fave is ren skincare if you don't know about this ready steady glow daily ah tonic i've been through a million of these not quite a million so this time i thought i would order the big one um so this is double the size so this is 500 mils i think yeah 500 mils and 250 um so yeah you can see i'm already like well underway using this one um so i definitely recommend this i ran out of it at the end of december and i just remember my skin just wasn't hitting how it was hitting before um so definitely would recommend putting that toner into your life um let's stick with skincare something um i went back to this vitamin c detox skincare invigorating skin booster this is just a super drugs own brand um i've been through two of them uh, since december um only because i filled up my travel toner with one of these as well so that's why it ran out ran out quickly otherwise it does actually last and i do like it um but i don't know why i went back to this one i can't even remember what i was using before i went to these ones um but yeah i liked them same family vitamin c obviously a theme because i'm trying to brighten my skin so this is the radiant oil cleanser um and this is just oil based to take off your makeup i actually liked it but um would i purchase again probably not those other two products i would purchase again and obviously i have purchased again that one uh whatever skincare so i tried this i'm going through all my little samples from glossy box um so um i got this context oil free oil free daily moisturizer nothing to write home about um was okay wouldn't buy a full size if i needed to um i've just finished this this is the balance me collagen boost moisturizer i didn't like it um it actually leaves my skin quite sticky afterwards and like i feel my skin and it'd be like sticky didn't like that but i do actually have a second one so i do i'll i'm using that have i got it here should be here yeah so i've got another one and i'm just going to use it just to get rid of it um but yeah i wouldn't definitely i wouldn't recommend it and i didn't see really any difference in my skin but i think it's a popular one um skincare um so your skincare don't forget to put on your skin um sorry skincare sunscreen don't forget it um this is the ombre solaire anti-dark spot and anti-pollution super uv and this is 50 plus i have repurchased we go again i really liked this one didn't leave a cast and um really lightweight on the face and it looks really well under makeup like i've got it on today and yeah it just really sits real nicely i like i like i like that um oh another ren 
the overnight glow tonic really 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 love this but i've decided to take a break from it it really did help um get rid of a dark mark that i had on um some hyperpigmentation that i had on my chin here um i've got another one here because i really nasty that's all that's the only way to describe it nasty spot came up under the skin um but i ran out of this and um i quite frankly didn't want to spend 43 pounds again um this is the second time i have purchased it um but yeah because i've got so many samples of moisturizer and stuff like that i literally just want to go um through it and i want to keep my skincare very simple so i might go back to it because the smell of this oh gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i was literally like using it tiny 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 um so that i didn't run out um but yeah it's gone it's been run out um so that is all my skincare bits that i ran out so um oh no i forgot one so this was i got this in a glossy box this was a nip fab illuminate vitamin c cleanser so i've been vitamin c in myself up for months um nothing to write home about the smell gorgeous smell really like oranges like citrusy like really nice but again i don't know if it did anything because i was using all the other vitamin c things i couldn't really probably tell um and i do try to just like introduce one new product into my skincare and to be fair i yeah i didn't really notice any difference with that um so yeah out of all of that i probably only repurchased one two three four of those items which i think is not actually bad so on to skincare sorry skin like body wise um i had this again a sample so this is the foam biased ultimate moisturizer from imperial leather literally i think i used it in three days like three showers and it was gone like gone um yeah so for me even if i had like a bigger size like if it's gonna run out like you squeeze like one pub and so much came out so i think it just probably needs like i don't know something else but this is not for me i didn't notice like smoother skin or anything like that so yeah not for me um body wise I was using Aveeno. So I've got quite dry skin. I've noticed, especially since I had the baby, I've noticed my skin has just got drier and drier. So I've been trying to like oil up moisturizer. This, if you want super, super oily skin, like this I use on special occasions. And this is the Coconut Radiant Body Oil. So like when I do my end of the month reset, I put this on. When I'm going out, out, I put this on. When I've got my legs out, I put this on. And you cannot go wrong with it. I always make sure I have a stash of that always in the background because it's the best. Um, so I tried it, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, so I've been trying this for like ever. And I found that still like my skin would like get hydrated, but it wouldn't last like the whole day. Um, so yeah, and for the price, I thought, hmm not to the best and i've been using it on my son's skin who's also got quite dry skin and i still find that he looked gray like i'd cream him up in the morning and when i'd go to do like his bath or something he would still be dry and he'd be ashy or if i change it he'd be ashy a few hours later so it's okay um for the price point i shouldn't have bought as many as i did basically so i decided like i was like i'm gonna cut my losses let me try something new so i tried this instead this is the vaseline essential healing body lotion this girl this is my new holy grail i've already got another one just finished this one on to the next one this 100 percent. like even like i creamed my skin this morning like i'm not shiny but i'm also not dry i could show you my legs also not dry like so so good the smells really nice i love the smell of it when i put it on my kids as well so yes i would recommend this for skin boom we're cooking on gas deodorant i try i went from using like spray sorry i'm i keep on doing this because i've got a dry bit of skin on my nose that i need to clean off um 
so i wanted to get away from doing from using like spray deodorant um so this was recommended um and this is the mitch and women triple odor defense this is i tried i tried a new scent so this is the third one i've had so i tried a new scent this is the pure fresh scent mm, okay but i do definitely prefer the baby powder uh, powder fresh smell you know like that fresh baby kind of smell that's what that smells like love it and i would re i definitely would recommend um this and if you're trying to get away from deodorants like spray ones i'd recommend this as well the only thing i would say is that let it dry down like you put it on and let it dry down because it will mark your clothes um if you try and put it on and then put it on wet either you put like your bra or like you put your bra like who puts the bra on like, put your bra on and then put it on and then wait and then put your clothes on don't just do it straight away because you will get like the white marks on it that's the only thing that i've noticed about it but i don't feel like i'm sweaty i don't smell any body odor with it so 10 10 for that couple of um makeup products that i have finished holy grail will always be in my collection this is the elf camo concealer this is the shade of rich chocolate this is what i use to spot conceal and absolutely i love the shade it's very it's really close to my skin tone um and it, the coverage is a bit beautiful um this used to be my favorite mascara absolutely favorite mascara it will still be in my rotation because i just love like the wand the way because the bristles are nice and prickly so that you can really get right under your lashes love that um but i then decided to try this one this is the sky high from maybelline and i love it the bristles are tiny thin you could do the, exactly the same love 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 this um so if i couldn't get this one no sorry if i couldn't get this one i would go back to this one but i think that this is going to be my new holy grail love 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 it's blackest of black um really like it but these two definitely would recommend both of them for mascara um and then i just finished off my revolution pro supreme matte finishing spray i love matte i'm matte always 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 um this is actually really nice for just like every day but if you want to really up the ante i would definitely recommend the charlotte tilbury as you can see i'm nearly finished i got this as a sample this sorry the travel size one to try it out and see if i liked it i love it the smell is gorgeous the hold is nice like this is what i've got did i put this on today did i put another one no i think i've got this on today and um I said, if I literally just put a little bit of powder on, like, even if I didn't put any powder on and I just took my powder brush, like, look at that, look at that. Like, you can see, like, where my glasses have been. Like that. And shout out to the makeup today. Beauty. Stunning. Right, what else have I got? Oh, final bit is some hair care. And um, obviously I am a natural gal and I like my hair to be quite curly. So I use this Define and Shine Custard. And I used to use this and then I stopped using it because every time I used it, my hair would get really flaky. Like I'd use it, I'll take my twist out and then my hair would be flaky. And I'm like, what the hell is this problem? Um, when they say that reading is fundamental, like it is fundamental um what i was doing is i was putting this on and then i was putting on my moisturizer on top of it because it says like to mix it but when it says mix it it literally means mix it together and put it on as soon as i did that my curls have been off the chain so i'm really really happy with that i, I have repurchased this already ready for when i take this out you can see that is i probably could get away with it a little bit longer I'm not gonna lie but i think i'm ready to take these bad boys out um i'm gonna order a wig to come because i think i want to do like a new hairstyle every month um so yeah that is what i'm gonna do so those are my january empties I am trying to consolidate all of these sample bits that I've got from when I had my subscription boxes um, so that I don't have any more of that. That's it. 
this me out um yeah let me know if you tried any of these products and if you liked them or not especially any of the products that i wouldn't purchase again am i doing something wrong let me know uh...